Welcome to the Introduction to Microsoft Word View Tab, Part 9 of 9 Parts, presented by the Fruitland Park Library, narrated by Gloria. Video Index, View Tab, Views Group, Show Group, Zoom Group. In order to work along with the tutorial, it may be necessary for you to have two open windows side by side. It does not matter if one window is a website and the other is an application or program. The steps of maximizing or restoring down a window is the same for both. We will be using the website YouTube and Notepad as examples. The opening slides will suggest different methods. Please see slides 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 before continuing with the tutorial. In the upper right corner, there is a Maximize Restore Down button. Restore Down reduces the window to half its size, as you see below. When the window is maximized, it fills the entire screen, and the Maximize Restore Down button changes to double squares. You can adjust the width and the height by hovering the cursor on the right, left, top, or bottom edge of the window. The cursor will change from a normal arrow to an arrow with points at each end. You can then resize the window. Arrows are shown in red for better visibility. Arrows will be white on the screen. You can move the window to a new location on the screen by placing the cursor near the top blue arrow and holding down the left mouse button. Then drag it to the new location and release the mouse button. After adjusting the first window, open the second window and repeat the steps. As you can see, the second window overlapped the first. Place your cursor near the top of the second window. Cursor should be a white arrow. Hold down the left mouse button and drag the second window off of the first window. The two windows will be side by side, allowing you to follow the instructions in the video. However, Using this method will require you at times to use the right side and bottom scroll sliders. A second method is to use the Minimize button which will drop a window down to the taskbar. Click on it to open it up. Using this method does require you to switch back and forth between the two windows. Just pause the video, minimize the window, and open up the other window. The last suggestion is to take your laptop or smartphone to a library and use one of the library computers. Open the tutorial on one computer or smartphone and use the other to follow along with the tutorial. View tab. In this video, we are going to explore the view tab. If you haven't already opened your Microsoft Word application, please do so now. Select the blank document. After the application opens, Please click the View tab. View tab ribbon. View tab views group. This group gives you options of how you want to view the document. Click Read Mode. Read Mode text fills the window. To return to normal view, use the Escape key on the keyboard in the upper left corner. Click Print Layout. Displays how the document will look when printed. Please click Web Layout. Shows how your document will display on a web page. Click Print Layout to return to normal view. View tab, Views Group Outline. Shows document in outline form. Contents is shown with bullet points. To return to normal view, Click the red square with a white X in the middle of it. Do not click the X in the upper right corner of the Word window or you will close your document. Click this X to return to normal view. View tab, Views Group Draft. Draft displays the text only, which makes for faster editing. Click Print Layout to return to normal view. View tab, show group, ruler. It's easy to understand but can be tricky to use only because the commands on the ruler are so small. 
View tab, Show group, make sure there's a check in the box next to Ruler. Just below the ribbon and above the white page area. There are four different commands on the ruler. Commands on the left side are first line indent, left indent, and hanging indent. Command on the right side is right indent. First line indent moves the first line of the paragraph to the right. Using the text we already have, click on the first line indent button and move it to the right. Click Undo. Click on the left indent, the square bottom part, and move it to the right. Click Undo. Triangle on top of the square. Click on the hanging indent and move it to the right. All but the first sentence is indented. Right indent. Click on the right indent. Right indent moves the paragraph to the left. Click Undo. View tab, Zoom Group. Zoom Group comes in hand if you want to enlarge the font for easier viewing while working on the document. Use on resumes, business correspondence, etc. while keeping the font at size 12 for the finished document. Click on one page. This shrinks the page to fit the window. Click 100% button to return to normal. Below the last paragraph, type equals rand, parentheses, 13, end parentheses, tap enter. We need more text in order to show what the multiple pages command will do. Click multiple pages. Click the 100% button to return to normal. This concludes the introduction to Microsoft Word View Tab, Part 9 of 9 Parts. Thank you for joining us for Part 9. We hope you enjoyed the tutorials, Parts 1 through 9 of Microsoft Word. If you have any questions or would like a transcript of this video, please contact me at gterry at mylakelibrary.org or call 352-360-6561.